Okay. The biggest loser trainers line starts here. Dun dun dun. Listen, I'm Melissa and I'm here 6 a.m. or is it 7? Yeah, 6 30. For the biggest be, yeah. loser trainer auditions. And there's five trainers here. So we're going to come back in a few hours and see how many trainers are here. But I say the first five are the top five, right? I think so. And my Fresh cameraman, torch. let's reverse the camera to you. Okay. Tell us who you are. My name's Adam Roberts. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. And what made you do a, a trainer audition this morning? What made me do is because um, I do it every day. I change people's lives and I assist in that. I just want to do it on a wider square. You love it? It's what I'm good at. It's my passion. Passion is the key word? Yeah. Did you, you eat breakfast this morning? No. <laughs> okay, so if you can hold it for me real quick. Okay, you got it? I got it. Okay, I'm back. You're at the Biggest Loser Auditions, and it's um, 7 a.m., right? 7 sounds good, perfect. And your name? My name is John Jay. John Jay, <laughs> why are you trying to do this amazing audition? Well, I am the trainer of champions. The ad specifically asks for enthusiasm, charisma, and there is no more charismatic or enthusiastic than myself. Um, I believe that energy is contagious or whatever. Enthusiasm is contagious. This is actually how I train. I bounce just like she's bouncing right now. If you can't lose weight with John Jay, you can't lose weight, period. If you can't make it happen with me, you can't make it happen. Plus, the Biggest Loser needs a little flavor, needs a little... You, know, you, needs got, flavor? A little, you like, got flavor? So much flavor, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, they need okay. flavor, man. You need something new, something... So I'm well, at it. Well, good luck today. Thank you so much. Trainer love, good trainer love. you too as well. Cameraman, bring me the camera. <laughs> and I'm going to turn it around on you. Okay. <laughs> All right, so tell me, who, who are you? I'm Steve Coe from Denver, Colorado. And why are you out here so am, early in the morning? I am here because I'm excited about having people lose weight. So you I flew am, out here? I did fly out here. And you stayed in a hotel? I stayed in a hotel. Now, and, uh, tell, tell me, why wouldn't a trainer spend the night overnight on the sidewalk? Because I want to be on the biggest... Why wouldn't he? Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm a trainer. Because we That's don't why. sleep on sidewalks. We don't sleep on sidewalks. That's right. That's I'm right. I'm here to motivate and have people lose weight. That's I'm excited and passionate about what I do. That's why I've been doing it my whole life. Awesome. I, well, good luck today. Trainer high five. Thank you. All right. Oh, we oh. missed it. Oh, that was bad. That there was good. Go. All right. All right. So what do you think they're looking for? Talk okay, can you film us? Yeah. Please. Yeah. Okay, what's your name? Natasha Ventura. Okay, I'm here with Natasha. Biggest yeah. loser trainer audition. So I made you come out and try this amazing opportunity. Well, I love what I do, so I figured you might as well do it. Sure. Did you fly out here? No, I didn't. I'm a half hour away. Wait. Long way. Half hour away. Any, any, uh, any nerves? Uh, no, not really. It's just going to be yourself. It's going to go in there and do it. And, uh, maybe we'll choose both of us. Blonde brunette. I think we are who they're looking for. That's hey. Yep. Your name? My name is Marlene from Columbus, Ohio. And tell me, and, okay, tell me what your sign says. Bob and Jillian. I traveled 2,253 miles to be weighed in. Hey, also in line, you guys want to give me a big hello? Hey. All right, and who wants to volunteer and grab this camera from me? So I am now on camera, and I'm Melissa here also for the Biggest Loser Trainer Audition with all these amazing people in line for the contestants. So. Everybody, good luck. We need one more. Uh, Woohoo! Woo there it is. Yay! There it is. Here we go. There we go. Yeah! Woo! All right, that's a wrap. Like okay, I'm, I'm here with Holly, and uh, she was on conti uh, episode. I was on season four. Season four. Finalist. Woo! Yay, Holly, you look great. <laughs> so Thank there's you. so many contestants here wanting to get in on the show. What um, piece of advice can you give to them today? Um, I would tell everyone just to make sure that. They are themselves. It sounds so cheesy. It really does because everyone's like, of course, I'm myself. But just kind of, you know, sit there and just say whatever comes to mind because really the casting directors, they want to see your personality. And your personality is going to shine through. They try to give everyone as much time as they can. And don't be discouraged about the time because, again, this is TV and it's short and it's quick and you might get to the end and be like, I didn't get to talk. But you know, just do the best you can. They want to, they want to see your personality. So try, try to get a word in and, you know, show them why you really want this. Thanks, Holly. You know, and, as, and as a trainer, I have to say, you look amazing. So you've been maintaining a healthy lifestyle? Yes, it's so hard, but yes, I've been maintaining. <laughs> what's, the, what's the hardest part? Um, the hardest part is the exercise. I don't think people realize how much they really, really have to exercise. So all these trainers in line behind me are really important to have, right? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm so excited to see all the trainers here. Yeah, trainer. I have a trainer now. I still awesome. have a trainer. Well, so. you look amazing. So thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. Good all right. Bye. Everyone.
Okay, I am back. Long, long day today, but it was a great day. The Biggest Loser Trainer Audition Show was another day in my uh, crazy things to do that I just felt I can do. Um, I met amazing trainers, but the most amazing thing about today was all the contestants that I met. Thousands of people there in line that spent the night last night that were there. Some flew in from out of state just wanting a chance to get on the show. And I always say... Wherever you're at, you're meant to be at that point. And maybe I wasn't there to get called back to get on the show. Maybe I was. But I know one thing for sure. I talked to so many contestants, so many people that were unhealthy, so many people that are struggling with their weight loss and have stories they just opened up to me. And, I mean, heartbreaking stories. And one thing I heard from not just one person but from way too many people today was that they felt this was it, that if they didn't get a call back on the show, they didn't know what they were going to do, that their weight was so out of control that they were ready to give up and that they just don't know what else they were going to do. And you know what? I knew today when I came home to wrap up this little video of mine today was to send a message to those people who are watching. If you're struggling with your weight loss, if you were there in line auditioning for The Biggest Loser and you don't get a call back, You've got to believe in yourself that you can do it. You can. I've been training and changing lives for 14 years, and every single person that makes it, every single person that has success with their weight loss and changed their lifestyles, because at one point they believed in themselves. It just, it does take everything inside of you, inside of you, in your mind, in your heart, in your gut, to do it. You know, there's personal trainers everywhere that, that, that are out there to help you. You know, look for one in your local area, find one that matches you, find one that you believe is, is going to push you and, and believe in you. And, and you can do it. Set short term goals, whether it's losing, you know, one to three pounds a week and not looking at the long term goal. Like I've got to lose a hundred pounds, but you know, tie yourself, I got to lose six pounds and, and set little tiny realistic goals, you know, just waking up and going for a walk. Uh, but take that step and believe that you can do it. The thing is, the producers only call back so many people for the show. So what's going to happen if you don't get a call back? Are you going to give up and just and, and feel sorry for yourself and I tried and no one called me back, no one believes in me? No. The one person you need to change your life is you. You know, diets, gyms, trainers, they don't fail. You know, it's not that they don't work. It's the consistency with yourself, it's the commitment that you make, that when you fall back, you fall down, you get back up, that when, you know, you, 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 you emotionally eat something that you know you shouldn't have, okay, accept it, don't feel guilty about it, move forward again, continue with your weight loss goals. I just found myself, rather than standing in an audition line for trainers all day, you know, talking to people and motivating them in line that if they don't get a call back, you got to believe you can do it. So maybe that's why I was meant to be there today. All I know is that this is my passion. This is my, my, my life. Just getting to the heart and soul of people and believing in them and helping them change their lives because anybody can do it. And uh, as far as me, I'm just going to keep on moving forward. I think today was a really great day with just what happened with just meeting all the contestants. There was great trainers that were there too and whatever the producers are looking for, they're gonna find um, you know, that next trainer for their next project. All I know is I'm going back to work on Monday to continue what I do best and uh, just keep planting seeds. No matter what your passion is, no matter what you love doing, if you're good at it, keep planting the seeds is what I say, you know. Do something and move forward. Don't wait for, for anybody. Just just wake up every day and, and get out there. Let people see who you are and and don't live in any fear. Just believe in your gut that you're the best and the sky's the limit. So I'm going to go take a power nap now because today was a long day. And uh, I hope the world sees me soon. Bye, everybody.